Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, happy Monday everybody. Welcome uh, to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody uh, is having a good day. So it's, it's absolutely nuts. So I, I, I really thought today, uh, kind of going back to the weekend update, I, I, I really thought today, you know, you're gonna have some pick some spots here and there on beta, but I thought pretty much, uh, I thought the day was going to belong to um, kind of non-beta names. Um, you know, I, I still like the market. I like the market going into uh, today. It was just, I, I didn't think for a second that we were gonna have a lot of value today. Um, and I talked about it last night in the video, and what's what's great about the tape and what's great about the bull market is you know eventually when the sentiment is so strong everything kind of wakes up although not everything in beta woke up today it really did show last week how there was such a big disconnect from the dow jones industrial average uh to the nasdaq composite that beta basically rested last week and although not every single one woke up today you're really starting to see kind of almost like what can happen next? And again, before we talk about Tesla, and obviously uh, by far the biggest move of the day, uh, and there was some pretty big moves other than and Tesla, but you can you can quietly see that the, you know as the old sentiment goes, the old adage goes, don't wake up right an angry elephant or angry lion or a sleeping lion, whatever the, hell the terminology is, and that's kind of what's happening. So if you look at beta as a whole, right? you're going to start to see a lot of similarities. So although, for example, NVIDIA exploded today, right? A name like NVIDIA exploded today and ZM exploded today, right? You have a lot of names and obviously Tesla as well, but you have a lot of names that are looking like this, right? So let me just show you. If you look at, for example, Amazon, it's getting very, very close. When you look at Microsoft, it's getting very, very close. When you look at Alibaba, right? It's getting very, very close. You get, you get the theme, right? Facebook, very, very close as well. Shop, you know, you could go through them one by one by one, getting very, very close. So the last week or so, if the bears really didn't take advantage of beta names and taking the really big market leaders and kind of hammering down to earth, you give it one more day and these stocks start confirming and start confirming their 60 minute channels, Everything that you saw last week, the disconnect from uh, the indexes, okay? And we asked that question, what's gonna happen first? Is beta going to pull down the rest of the market or is the rest of the market going to pull up beta? You give it one more day and if you're bearish on this market, if you are bearish on beta and these stocks confirm, you're gonna have a massive rally, an absolute massive rally. And the bears, I think, they drop the balls. Although again, we are seeing weakness in a lot of names uh, like Roku, right? To talk about we'll talk about the pivot in a second like roku like boeing right boeing looks like one day away from right big drop here but we are getting so close guys on a lot of these names that eventually what's going to happen is there's going to be money taken out of everything that rallied and if it goes right back into beta we're going to have a phenomenal premium uh rest of the week so Let's talk about today, right? So I, again, I didn't think there's going to be great value today. I thought there's going to be some names that we liked. Uh, obviously, I put a whole bunch of, you know, pivots in the room today. You know, the Dollar Tree that we talked about last night in the video. Uh, obviously, Tesla. We'll, cut, we'll get to Tesla in a second. But you, you started seeing names that I usually wouldn't put in. Again, this is kind of going to the theory of, you know, trade what you have in front of you. And then when your sweet spot kind of wakes up, that's when you go very, very aggressively. So you saw names like Dollar Tree and you saw names like SFIX and you saw names like Pins and Etsy and stuff like that, but you really didn't see a lot of beta names, right? You saw Overstock and had a monster move, but again, you, you could see the scoreboard. You just didn't see anything of beta. And then slowly but surely, things started waking up. And I think that was the most important part. Again, did they wake up as a tribe? Absolutely not. But you, again, you are getting a glimpse of the future. And if you are bearish on these stocks, I'm telling you again, you could take my word for it or not take my word for it. 
if these stocks right now are playing possum, look at Amazon, you started seeing today uh, weekly call buyers coming in for the 3240s, the 3250s, right? The 3300, I think I saw 3300, I could be wrong, but 3240s, 3250s for sure, right? You started seeing uh, call buying coming in on some Alibaba, some Facebook, NVIDIA continues to be a monster going, uh, running up ahead of earnings. Uh, ZM, again, monster call bets uh, ahead of earnings as well. And I'm telling you right now, and again, you could take this advice or not, or, or not, okay? If you're short in this market, especially short beta, and these things do confirm tomorrow, those 60 minute channels, you're gonna have a very, very aggressive time getting out of your positions in one piece, because again, these things are playing possible. When they confirm, again, just all you have to do is look what happened today. Uh, with Tesla, with ZM, uh, with Overstock, just absolute monster, monster move. So let's talk about the day. Again, market continues to be bullish. Rotation, we are finger crossed for tomorrow, goes back into full-blown beta. So here it is. Obviously, this was definitely uh, the move of the day. Uh, 1685, 1690, next areas to reclaim. And again, everybody knows what Tesla did by now. You know, not only did we see, so, you know, here's a 1685, here's a 1690. Um, so not only did, you know, not only did Tesla, um, you know, reclaim big levels going on a run. If, for all you guys who, who, who don't have option flow, okay, they were coming in today for the 1900s, the 1950 weeklies, the 2000 weeklies. And when you didn't think the 2000 weeklies were getting crazy, came in the 2200 weeklies and came in the 2300 weeklies and all and again for all you guys who are not in tesla i know some of you guys are still holding uh runners tomorrow we would love to get a down open on this thing would, would, i mean that would be phenomenal if we can get a down open on this thing into rising support it could be absolutely huge because again uh if you can see here with your naked eye every time it hits rising support bounces rising support bounces rising support bounces so if we could get this rising support, no matter, you know, we'll see exactly what it'll be for tomorrow. It could be a really, really aggressive uh, day to move. So Tesla was just an absolute monster. Uh, again, Dollar Tree. You know, we, we highlighted this last night on the video. Uh, again, $100 weekly area needs to reclaim. Again, not a huge move. <clears throat> Excuse me, not a huge move. Uh, but Dollar Tree did what it had to do, right? It, it took out this 100 and went to almost 102, you know. Okay, right? Again, we talked about it last night. If you, you know, this isn't beta. This isn't you know a four month consolidation of Tesla. This is a three four month consolidation of of, of Dollar Tree, which basically again uh, talks about the area of you can get really good setups, but there's not going to be any emotional attachment to it. So you're not going to get any exaggerated moves. Again, there's nothing wrong with a two dollar move in Dollar Tree, but if you get the same setup on a stock that has emotional commitment and emotional attachment from retail and novice traders, you're gonna have a much more exaggerated move and that's exactly uh, what we saw today. Uh, Overstock just absolutely went nuts. Again, another example, uh, they were coming in for near term 120, 125, 130 calls, monster move, uh, 102 uh, needs to reclaim. Here was Overstock, just went nuts. So here was the 102, right? Here was the, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Here is the 102 and just went nuts. Just absolutely, I got the wrong chart. Oh, I'm sorry, here we go. Okay, I knew it didn't look crazy. Here is the 102, right? Okay, so here is the 102. Then it started going nuts, went all the way to 118. Uh, huge move there. Uh, Roku, I shorted Roku the first time. Quick story, real quick on Roku. So I shorted Roku the first time. Came in only 40 cents or so. Um, Obviously, I wasn't going to take any profits. So it spiked up. I wound up losing like 70, 75 cents on the trade. I reshorted it, right? Reshorted it, got like a dollar and change back on it. And then it just absolutely imploded. Again, here's a perfect example. I think I mentioned Roku yesterday on the weekend video as well. Again, it held three times in a row, right? Three times in a row. And then just went all the way down to 143. And again, I still like this area, right? Got to watch for the next couple of days. I still think if this area gets confirmed, uh, you should get a move all the way down to 138, 139. We'll see. You know, we'll see what happens there. But again, um, you know, I kind of messed up a little bit on that. But again, I, I netted out. I, I netted okay. Uh, SFIX 24 needs to build. Here's SFIX. We talked about the option flow last week. Uh, so here's a 24 and went right to supply in the 50-day moving average of 24.54. Uh, pins I still like, net uh, never never got there, turn around, I actually like net tomorrow for the long side. Uh, Etsy 132 needs to build, uh, I still like it tomorrow for the, for, the, for the upside. Tesla big move, oh, the one thing, and I do have to apologize for all you guys 
who are on the Twitter feed. Uh, our first trade of the day, I forgot to put it on the feed, was ZM. Okay, we started seeing crazy call buying on ZM. And I got long through this whole area here. Just really went nuts. Really big move on ZM. Um, traded as high as 268. This whole pivot was right here. Was right Once it took out this whole area here, just really, really exploded. Again, I'll be honest with you. I, I didn't think a move like this was, it was in the cards today. And you know, surprisingly, I was very happy uh, to be wrong. So I apologize for you guys who are on the feed. Uh, nice flush again. Nice flush on Roku. I get said 23.50 is the next stop. That's exactly where it traded down to. Uh, ridiculous move in Tesla, S SPAQ, nothing big, uh, traded up to like 13 and a quarter, nothing big there. Uh, yeah, I mean, such a beauty, 1900 call buyer steps in, uh, you know, just great job. I mean, incredible move by Overstock, uh, 2200 weeklies, like I said, on the way up as well. So again, I, I think we're one day away, maybe two days away of really getting some aggressive rotation back to beta again we don't want to jump the gun for tomorrow's session because again the last thing you want to do is kind of preempt a trade or anticipate a trade that's when you really lose a lot of money what you want to do is be prepared for these channels okay so for all you guys uh, who aren't joining us tomorrow in the live webinar please get there early we start around uh, 9 10 or so but get there at nine o'clock make sure uh, everything is uh, working properly. We're going to de definitely discuss all these levels, Amazons of the world and Facebooks of the world and Amazons and Tulos of the world. We want to make sure that we are watching really good valid levels. So when they, tri when they trigger and then they confirm in a second entry, we will be uh, in the driver's seat. So guys, for all you guys who caught Tesla today, phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Um, hopefully you get one more run, right? Hopefully there'll be a, definitely one more run tomorrow. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, guys. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.